Afternoon everyone and um, it's Sunday which means it's gaffer at the weekend and it's a bit unusual because normally as you know we're we're talking football we're talking about the manager or myself in particular asking for supporters to come out and back us in great numbers which has been happening all season but here am I saying there's a clear message around the country please please stay at home that's massively important for everyone as we fight this virus so stay at home Watch old clips of football like I'm doing. I'm watching every video that's going, every old clip, every new clip. And um, But we're trying our very best. So I've got a few questions that's come through for our media team and we're starting. Is it how am I finding things personally? Is that a testing time? You can hear my little dog in the background. It's a testing time for them because I've been walking them morning, noon and night. We Archie. But it's a, it's a testing time for everyone. I think to be locked up is, is not a hardship when considering our great-grandfathers and our granddads um, went to war and fought the battles for us and um, and many didn't come home at all. So what we have to do, stay at home and watch up. So please do that. So I'm no different. I'm finding it difficult at times. But you know what? To beat this virus, we need to do what it's taking. And we have to take the advice of the Prime Minister. And, um, and I hate using this name of Piers Morgan as well. Piers, thank you. Keep batting the drum. I'm going to be watching you in the morning. Keep batting the drum. Please keep people at home and you're doing your bit as well. But um, please stay with us, Joe's fans. Second question. It's been confirmed that football won't resume, of course, until the 30th of April. Um, and that perhaps date looks to be extended. Do you remain of the view that the current season must be completed? Absolutely. The season has to be completed as best we can. There's commercial uh, monies relying on that from the television, uh, the media, the radio, everything that that contributes overseas television rights, etc., that all contributes to putting money in the pot for, for Gillingham Football Club from the Premier League down. And it's massively important that it's continuing. But I've seen a good friend of mine, Mark Warburton, was saying in the press only 24 hours ago that um, he, had, he had it, in his opinion, that we need a clearer date. Mark, I don't think the EFL board can give us a clear date. I think they're like the rest of us. Are we locked down for three weeks? Is it going to be four, five, six weeks? We don't know. Um, but I agree with Mark. We need we need some guide that's an accurate guide rather than a, put a date up there that's not applicable. So from that point of view, I don't see his playing in April, around about 30th of April at all. I don't see his back then. I think football will be played, hopefully, and I'm touching wood here, hopefully will be played in June and we'll get the season concluded. We can have a short break because they won't need as long the players and we can go back in and get back on with the season. But we should be keeping the Carnival Cup, we should be keeping the FA Cup, and let the big clubs do what they've done on lots of other occasions, which is use the vast resources and a big squad. Uh, moving on, so we've got... Um, I'm reading here that the, the media team's put through. Do, do you think all owners and managers should be consulted before the end of the season structure is implemented to gain a majority view? I think there's an absolute outstanding majority, uh, if not unanimous, that managers... And chairman want the season to finish, but it shouldn't lie at the decision of the managers. We we coach the players, we manage the players, and we want to win promotions. If you're challenging, you want to avoid relegation. If you're down there, you want to get into the playoffs. If you're like us, it's massively important that that decision is taken by the owners, by the owners of football clubs, and the chairman and the respective boards. And we trust the good people in the EFL board, and there is some great people on that board. And, and, of course, at the Premier League and, and the Football Association, we're trusting these people to, to guide us through these times and make the right decisions. Um, another little question is, uh, next season may uh, start a touch later, but considering the break, will that be an issue in your view? I've already answered this, I think. Um, in fairness to Phil, he's putting the questions that a lot of people are giving him. But from my point of view, we don't need a break when we come back in July. If we end up back in June playing football, the players can have three weeks in July, maximum three weeks, and we can be back in and we can be going again in the middle of August. It's not about when we start again. We need to win this virus war. Let's win that. Secondary, let's win football matches. And thirdly, let's get ready for next season. Let's hope all the loved ones are fighting for their lives today. Thanks to the brilliant NHS staff that gave them a chance. Um, let's hope there's many of them as possible to see a new season because we know how tough this is going to be. So moving on quickly. Again, Phil's asking how often am I liaising with the players? Uh, every day. Every day the, the, the players are, are given a, a fitness and training schedule. 
They have to adhere to, they have to report on it, it has to be checked. James Russell is, is doing a great job, who heads up our fitness team. Myself and, and Jammer are, are all over it from that perspective. And um, so, so the answer is every day. Only on Friday I had a call with each of the players just to talk to them, make sure the, um, their understanding of the work that we're asking them to do, how they're doing it, where they're doing it. More importantly, how their, how their mental state is. Cause it's tough for everyone, this. Particular footballers that are used to routines. You know, in by 9.15, breakfast at 9.30, training ground 10.15, finish training, lunch is 12.30, gym 1.15. You know, the parents, that's how we treat the kids, isn't it? We don't treat uh, footballers these days like kids, but they're very regimented from the Premier League down. From the Premier League down, and you take them out of that routine, it, it became a lot of downtime at home. But, you know, hopefully for my conversations with your lads, they're all in good, positive spirits. They're staying at home. They're doing the isolating. It was a key part of me ringing around just to make sure that they're doing the walk as early as we can in the morning, not many people around, away from everyone else, and getting back indoors with the family and making sure that we're staying safe and we're fighting this virus war because we're in this together for sure.